Technology. It's in our homes and in our cars. But why can't it be in us? Well, now it can. <laughs> Ronnie Chang has more in his segment, Today's Future, Now. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. For years, we've mostly just operated our technology with our hands and our fingers, like a bunch of cavemen or people from Michigan. <laughs> we love to finger our technology. We finger it all day long. <laughs> but now science has found a way to get our whole bodies involved. Exoskeleton vests are changing the game for the American manufacturing workforce. Ford Motor Company recently unveiled its plan to provide workers with wearable technology. It's an exoskeleton that helps maintain good posture, adding up to 15 pounds of support to each arm when it's raised up. Nicholas Scott spends much of the day on the Ford Mustang assembly line, reaching up. My gun is about a pound or two, but you lift it up 500 times a day. They call me Rocket Man or Superman all the time or Mr. Incredible. Really? They call you Rocket Man and Mr. Incredible? Or are you trying to give yourself a nickname and make it stick by saying it on national television? <laughs> because it doesn't work like that, man, okay? If you want to give yourself a nickname, you gotta be more subtle. Take some advice from the Chinese stallion. <laughs> you gotta slip it in when people aren't paying attention. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're the Chinese stallion? Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's what I keep hearing people saying these days, so I guess it's official. <laughs> but more importantly, I don't know if I trust that robot vest, okay? I see what's happening. First, the robot's like, hey, let me help you lift that. Then the robot's like, hey, you know what? I, I can do that myself. Why don't you go take a break? <laughs> and next thing you know, the robot has your job and is banging your wife, okay? <laughs> and there's also downsides. Because not only is technology taking over our lives, it's about to make us look a lot stupider. Swiss drone scientists are working on a wearable drone controller. It's basically a fancy jacket with a lot of sensors on it. You put it on and then you add a little virtual reality headset and then you raise your arms like a bird, <laughs> as free as you can be. And uh, you've got to twist your torso every which way to pilot the drone. Oh, wow, how convenient. So instead of using a remote control for my drone that fits in my hand, now I just have to put on 20 pounds of equipment? I can't lift 20 pounds, okay? Do I look like The Rock? Do I? No! No, I don't. But thank you. So I shouldn't need a whole workout routine just to spy on my neighbor sunbathing on their roof, okay? My problem with this is that it's too small-minded. Well, in the future, we shouldn't be flying drones. We should be flying ourselves. Yeah. It's not a sight you'd expect to see on the streets of London, but few are more blown away by the jet suit than the man who invented it, Richard Browning. It's almost like that dream most people seem to have around being able to just think somewhere and fly there. It can reach speeds of 32 miles an hour and an altitude of 12,000 feet. Anyone can fly it with training and insurance. It's made up of five mini jet engines, one on the back and two on each arm, which control direction. Finally, now this is an awesome way to travel, even though he looks like Tony Stark got his suit from H&M. And <laughs> look at all those engines. I can finally fulfill my childhood dream of flying and killing eight geese at once. <laughs> but as cool as this suit is, there is one drawback. For now, the fuel pack limits the suit to only three or four minutes of flight. So this thing can fly up to 12,000 feet, but only has gas for three minutes. That sounds like a great way to fall from 12,000 feet. But you know what? The good thing about all this new technology is that we've all been worried that robots are gonna take over and kill humanity. But it turns out, we're becoming the robots, and we're gonna kill ourselves first. So suck it, robots. They'll teach you to bang our wives. The Chinese stallion, everybody!